Hi everybody, I'm Lisa and a video game addict. My recovery date or my game free date is April 17th of 2014 and for that I am truly grateful. Um, a little bit um, about my background and my gaming and what it was like. I'm um, to tell you what it was like, what happened and what it's been like now. Um, what it was like. Um, I grew up in a family where I had both alcoholism and gambling addiction on both sides. Um, I had a, a, a father who was a gambling addict and he ended up leaving and I didn't see him anymore. Um, so I had some wounds, I'll, I'll say, from growing up. Um, I never was comfortable in my own skin. Um, I always had some anxiety and fear, I guess. Um, I never quite felt like I fit in. Um, and all of that, I think, you know, stems a lot from, you know, some of those wounds that happened when I was growing up. I want to, though, say that's not what caused me to become uh, a video game addict. Um, what caused me to become a video game addict is I became addicted to video games. Because um, not everybody who has wounds growing up becomes an addict. Gaming. Um, I've always liked gaming. Um, I started with um, uh, Nintendo and had a PlayStation and most of those games that I played though were initially were single player and so they had a set beginning and an end and it wasn't until I began gaming on my PC that my addiction began to, to take off and I had no clue it could even become an addiction um, I had had prior experience and was sober actually in AA so I understood addiction from an alcohol perspective and if you had asked me back then can video games be an addiction I would have been like huh <laughs> so I naively began playing video games online and I mean I got on Steam I I must have had, I think I had five Steam games. Um, I was playing a lot of first-person shooters initially, Team Fortress, um, Call of Duty, those kinds of games, and as well as single-player games. And again, all of those have set beginnings and set endings, but what I was finding is I didn't want to stop. So the minute the, the round or the a match would be over, like killing for any of them, I wanted to play again. I wasn't ready for bed and I thought it was okay to do because after all I'm sober this is better than drinking you know so I'd come home from work and my way of dealing with any stress or feeling tired was to game and I was spending most nights that's all I did and it, it, it kind of was subtle. I didn't see it coming, and it crept up on me. And my now ex at the time was saying, you know, you're always in there gaming. And I would respond, well, you know, you're busy, you know, doing your website stuff on your computer. What difference does it make? Um, and that's really what I believed at the time. Well, as things progressed I began to to stay up you know later and later and later and now I've got you know people I'm gaming with online and so I don't want to miss out on anything and so I stopped even doing things with real life friends because I didn't want to miss out on what was going on in my games and began playing MMOs at that point which again then I now I really don't want to you know miss out you know I've got raids to do you know there's stuff going on in the guild there's all this stuff I have to be here for or else I fall behind 
And so now I'm staying up till 2, 3 in the morning. I'm trying to get up for work. I'm tired all the time. My my now ex is getting very annoyed. You know, who are all these people you're talking to online? You know, what is wrong with you? Why are you spending all of your time playing video games? And my biggest response was, you know what, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. I remember that, saying that again and again. I had no clue whatsoever that video games were messing up my brain chemistry. None at all. But I, you, looking back, I can see that how it was affecting me. I was more irritable. I was exhausted. Um, I, I, all I wanted to do was game. In fact, he uh, approached me. I ended up, um, the guilt and the pressure and just the effects of the gaming, being irritable and tired, um, I ended up at that point picking up a drink again. So now I'm drinking while I'm gaming. And I remember my ex said to me, it's, you know, gaming or him. And I, my response was, I will not give up my games. I mean, I spent a ton of money on an Alienware. I had a gaming laptop. I, I knew, I mean, it was like a world for me. Um, and uh, so he moved out. At first, I was relieved. I was like, oh, now I can game without somebody bitching at me all the time. Excuse my language. Um, and that's exactly what I did. And my gaming became... My world, the last three years of my gaming narrowed to one small room. Whenever I wasn't working, I was in that same one small room behind the screen gaming for 6, 8, 10, 12. Sometimes I gamed 24, 36 hours straight. Um, I had no desire to do anything but game. My only friends I had left were in game. The last six months of my gaming, when I would finally go to sleep at night, I would sit there with no hope, with total self-disgust, wishing I just would not wake up. Um, it, it had to get to that point before I sought help. Um, and I went, got help initially through treatment program, and I was able to get into it because of my alcohol. Um, and in that treatment program, everybody in, in my group, we all had to write a goodbye letter to our addiction, to our drug or alcohol. And my goodbye letter was not alcohol. It was to my game um, and to this And that's probably when I saw for the first time that it was gaming that has was an addiction and the destruction it was doing in my life. Um, they say addiction is the great remover. It will remove everything from your life. If you have addiction, clear sign you are addicted as things start getting removed. You start to lose your family and friends. You start to lose your peace of mind. You start to lose your hope. It's it's and that's exactly what had happened and it wasn't due to my drinking it wasn't due to my now ex it wasn't due to anything it was due to gaming and i saw i had that what they call an aa that moment of clarity yeah let me see that and i knew what the future held if i kept doing what i was doing and so i woke up one morning and i had laid in bed the night before and I had cried out to a God that I don't even know or understand and said please please help me and when I woke up in the morning the thought went through my mind to uninstall my game and I was a guild master of a guild of 290 people um, in uh, MMO um, it was Tara and I uninstalled without saying goodbye to anybody and I removed all gaming friends from my Skype list and I went to AA I changed my sobriety date in AA um, because I, I knew I couldn't stay sober from alcohol if I was gaming 